Master contractors from across the country are pouring into flooded communities. Now, these are professionals with the experience to clean up and rebuild damaged buildings. Channel 3's Calvin Cutler is live in Barrie for us tonight. One community that is still reeling from the flooding. Calvin, describe what you've seen. Yeah, good evening, Kat and Dare, and it really depends on where you go. Some communities, such as Barrie, uh, some folks are still trying to meet basic needs. While if you go just down the road to Montpelier, it's full of contractors. Amy Pitton is the minister at Bethany Church in Montpelier, which completely flooded out. Numerous contractors from out of state approached her, asking if she had insurance and quoting up to $200,000 for the repairs. A good sized handful of business cards from companies that have wanted to, you know, wanted the business of cleaning up the building. Um, and it's been hard to know who to trust. Nearly 200 volunteers pitched in over the weekend. In addition to that local relief effort, electricians, plumbers, demolition experts, and others, cleaning out state buildings, businesses, and Vermonters' homes. Stop us. Stop us. Wesley De Silva is managing a crew of over two dozen contractors from Massachusetts and Connecticut. They're working for the new owners of the Capitol Plaza, who closed on the deal just over a week ago. The boss gives to us masks, gloves, everything to feel more comfortable. We have water, we have fans because it's really hot sometimes, but this one smells okay, but the other one not much good, but we can work on there. He adds disaster cleanup is a boon for business, paid for by businesses and homeowners if they don't have insurance. The Attorney General's office has not received any reports of contractors price gouging or of contractor fraud, but they're encouraging flood victims to reach out if they have any concerns. And while experts from around the country flock to Vermont, health experts are urging us to use caution when cleaning out our homes. Officials say that includes wearing a KN95 mask and assuming all wet walls contain mold. You know, the best thing is to try to get it as dry as you can, but if it turns out you have a bad problem with mold, if there is somebody in the household who is vulnerable in that way, it might be good to try to get them to sleep in a different room or, or otherwise avoid that risk. Back at Bethany Church, Pitton says they went with a local contractor who helped out in the flood of 1992. She adds the volunteer effort has been more than she could ask for. To put themselves out there and just because they wanted to help is, is amazing. It's just amazing. Now, Pitton also tells me that the church was in talks with the state of Vermont to create a low barrier shelter for folks uh, who are leaving the state's hotel motel program. Uh, but she says the flooding and the subsequent damage because of that, uh, those talks are now in question. For now, reporting live in Barrie, Calvin Cutler, Channel 3 News.